Vegas Andy Wardle here, back out in the Chevy Hills tonight, under the wild camp and a few beers and hopefully great tunes. I'm sat here in my poncho, sunglasses on, ready to go. It's freezing. <laughs> Come on, Andy, you can do it. Breathe into the pain. Yep, back out. Um, this time, that was a last minute decision. I nearly didn't come out. I couldn't be really bothered, like, but you know, it's got to be done. Phew, because I don't think I'll be out next week. I've got something on next week. I was going to go up there, and then I was going to go up there, and in the end, I decided to go up there and uh, around the back of there not up there oh, hedge hope no no hedge hope today thank you very much it's too much like hard work yeah so I'm uh, I'm in the chief it's you couldn't guess this so is just a quick one quick overnight uh, just because uh, us wild campers really cannot stay in the house. Just can't. Can't do it. Like next week I'm gonna be climbing the walls because I'm going to see my mate who's just lost his dad. It's really sad. Dave, my mate Dave. We used to go drinking in time off. His dad used to come right character. Proper proper Geordie bloke. I loved him and he's lost his life. He was 84, 85, something like that. I mean, he had a good run, had a good quality of life up to the last year or so. And he started taking ill. But yeah, sad day. I'll have a drink for him on the top. I sure really appreciate that. He always used to say, I was mad for Garden Hood. He must be bloody mad for Garden Hood, not <laughs> He's right. He's right. So if you're up there, Ray, you're right. I am mad. Mad. Right. Push on, because this is a steep bit. Oh, I'm so out of shape. So out of shape. These are the Langley Crags, Housey Crags. I don't know. One of them. That might be Langley. This is Housey. No idea. I've only been here 4,000 times. How am I supposed to know? That's the Cheviot. This hedge hope looks bigger, doesn't it? But that Cheviot's about five or 600 feet higher. It's just deceiving. And it's a blooming big lump of a thing. Good walk though, good walk going up. <sighs> just get my breath back after that. Ah, oh, that walk last week through the bogs killed us. We're going away, well, next Saturday, like I say, I'm going to uh, see my mate and offer me support and because he works in Jersey, you see, he's not home until next week and the week after that, me and Rob's away on a road trip again, another road trip up north, I'm not going to say where because we might get stalkers <laughs> or we might not go we might not go to that place, so I don't, I'm not going to say where. I'm heading over there though, I'm just waiting for these people to come down. And then I'm going to have a climb up there and see. Because last time, me, Stalker and Peas were here, we're looking over here and there was somebody in the tent up there. I don't know if there's a spot or not. 
I'll have a look. I'm just gonna wait till these lot go past anyway. Get your breath back as well. Snacked. It's dead steep coming up that bit there. Oh. So what you didn't see on camera was I was over there. I went over up onto them crags there. And whilst it's good if there's three of you, I mean there's space for one. But if there's a few, there's loads of space over there at the back of them crags. But I thought when I was up here before found a little, a little area, right? And I was torn whether to come back or not. But I have come back. Problem is, it's at the top of these crags of doom. And the wind's picking up. Wow, where's that wind come from? Oh, that's not good. This is not what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a look, see if I can get the tent up here. Because it's a great pitch, good views, and there's room for well, it's room for at least one, probably two. So we'll have a look, see if I can get an even pitch. Oh, hold on a minute, this wind wasn't in the forecast, it's just come out of nowhere. That I've had the drone up before. Grip masters on. Ugh. What a task. Right. So this is the top. Here's the pictures. Hey. I wasn't expecting that. So like if you've got a little tent you could get there. I might end up there in there you probably get a few tents on here squeeze them in but that's the view there well, it's all right over there but I have camped there before so I thought I'd give this a shot it's all right it looks legit I'm just wondering what's underneath the grass if it's rock it might cause issues with the pegs but that's now what I can't handle. Whew, right, let's get set up here. Eh? I can always take it down again, go over the other side. Plenty of light left. Oh, well, I've got all my gear out. I managed to get the peg in. It's not in brilliantly. These little, uh, I'll tell you, seeing him spike, that's actually quite solid. It's banged it in like. So that's sort of given that a bit of strength. It does change, actually dead tight. So that's okay. Feel better now. All right, what we've got Ugh, in the way of refreshments. Oh, it takes your breath away that wind. Oh, look who's back. Good game. Burgers, burger sauce. Well, the usual refinements, right? And we've got some new kit as well. Very kindly sent this on our, another freebie. So, oh, not another freebie. But you know, some things you can't turn down. I'm really looking at this. It's a quilt from One Wind. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get it out and uh, we'll have a look at it because it's also a poncho. I've brought the. the two season a summer bag I brought my summer bag tonight because I'm gonna try this and see if it see if it keeps us warm so it comes in this bag it comes in a plastic bag as well as tie top but I'm not a fan of plastic bags so I just bin back this that compression bag I think what I'll do is though I think I'll do what I do with my sleeping bag and just stuff it straight in my backpack and not have this because these make that's actually quite chunky, isn't it? It's quite sizable. And I prefer just to put it in the bag so I can just shove everything in. But so what I'm gonna do is um use it as the poncho, try the poncho on, and I'll do it live. Live and direct because I've I've never done it before. I don't know how you do it. So that's gonna be quite comical. <laughs> I'm sure I'll work it out, but it's gonna be fun watching us try. So we'll go for that shortly. 
but I think it's almost time to have the first beer of the night. Um, I think I'll have the Bruce Forsyth, Juicy Forsyth. Oh, I wish this weather would stay like this. You know, if this wind would just drop down, it would be mint, which would be fantastic here. Look at the massive black cloud there. I don't think there's any rain forecast though. It's a blessing. So I suppose I can sit out and find a little sheltered area to cook my tea down here. So I don't have it near the tent, getting hot fat splashing everywhere. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and chill out, get the tunes on, and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the poncho on and see see what dog's dinner I make of that. But it's nice. I'll put the links in the description. Feels nice, material's lovely. But it's like I say, it's also a quilt as well. So we'll see how that performs. We'll see how it performs.
it's a trailer. So you get this bag. Like I say, I might do away with this bag. Not because it's any good. It's just I, I prefer to have things out. Right. Let's pull it out. Remember, this is the first time I've done this. Could go wrong. Let's speed it up a bit. Packs it in and out. So here's the quilt. It's got the So there's the quilt in all its glory. It's not helping that it's windy like, but you know. Here we go. Quite big. So you've got all these um all these poppers press studs and that. I'll pop it together so you can have the end done. I want to, ah, there's water down here, I don't want to get in the water, so just bear with. There's uh, draw cords, toggles, cinch it. This must be the bottom, so you can cinch it. I'll use it in the tent as well when, I, when I'm out the wind. But the, the most fun bit is the poncho. So there's a hole in it here in the middle. There's the hole in the middle. <laughs> this is not easy. Oh. Oh. Fighting and losing battle here, like. I think this goes around that way. You have the long bit at the back. God. What a flame. What a day. The wind had to pick up. There was no wind before. So you've got all these press studs here. So what I think you do is, there's press studs on this side and there's ones on this side. So you just click them together. Ah, oh, that's it. Yes. Click them together like that. Probably fasten them down here as well. Actually feels warmer already. I'm not just saying that, actually feels warmer already. And then you've got this bit in the middle, like a belt. I'll tie it up. So there you go. Poncho, poncho. Hey. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it on because it's freezing. That is really warm. I tell you, it's sent a lot of things, right? And you've got, you're not under an obligation to say that it's good or not, but this feels nice, man. You might look like something out of um, Blade Runner, but it's nice. It feels nice. It's synthetic as well, it's not down. I don't know. I didn't check, I'll put the um, specifications either on the screen or in the links in the description but yeah that definitely feels that chill's gone i'm gonna keep this on one wind poncho i like it it's a quilt and a poncho and you're sitting around the camp with this on you know in the chilly in the chilly spring nights when the weather's nice but there's still the nip in the air you know Oh yeah, spot on, spot on. That's a good idea, that. I like it, so, impressed. Check it out. Hey. <laughs> and then you can, if you get, if your hands get cold, you can bring your hands in. Oh, it's a cozy, man. <laughs> I really like it. I wasn't a big fan of quilts. Probably still not, but I could be, I could have my mind changed. The price of quilts is what put me off, but this is not really, really expensive. So yes, have a look in the description. One wind poncho quilt, quilt stroke poncho. Excellent. 
Right, so I'm out the wind anyway, for now. I've got some burgers. Boring burgers again. I like burgers on a comp though. A bit sliced, extra mature, some uh, brioche buns with onion. Um, Heinz American style burger sauce. Very nice, tangy. Nice. Okay, it is now time to cook the burgers. So I've got some Morrison's handmade, handmade burgers. I know it's a bit boring like burgers every time, but I do like a burger on a camp mind. I do. I know it's quick and it's easy, but you know, it's gotta be done. Brioche buns with onion, sliced, a wee slice, American style burger sauce. I've got some garlic butter to start off. So I'm gonna get these in, get them on. I'm out the wind, I'm sheltered out the wind here, look. I've got uh, crags. Look at the tent though. I just had the drone up before there. I mean, that, that wind's quite strong. The drone was good. It was actually quite good. It was very stable in the wind. You'll have a look at the footage, you'll see what you think. But no, I'm impressed it didn't blow away or anything. And it is quite, quite wild out there. Like, if that tent's moving like that, that's about a good 15 mile an hour wind, that like. Anyway, let's get these on. We'll bring you back in various stages. So we've got the, uh, got the burgers cooked, got the cheese on melting. Which takes a while. Get the buns ready. Get your buns ready. Boosh. And then what we're going to do is next is just transfer the burgers to the box. Off the lot. No rubbish. It's no rubbish bag. I'm just gonna throw everything in that bag. Right? It's not hard, is it? It's not hard just to like have a little carrier bag with you and pull all your rubbish in that bag rather than just sling it everywhere. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't get people who throw rubbish. I just don't. <sighs> anyway, the sun's gone down. We didn't get a sun uh, sunset. No. Oh. But you know, we mustn't grumble. You can see the wind on the tent still. But I'm sitting here, lovely and shaded. Cold law over there. That's the uh, east coast, Bambra and that. Right. It's a good night. Not a good night. They look lovely. Oh, I like, I like a nice brioche burger bun, man. Like. Right. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to this. So here we go. Try these. Oh, hopefully, you won't get loads of horrible chewing sounds. Mm -hmm. um, no. Surprisingly, it's really hot. <laughs> but oh god, it's nice. That's really nice. Morrison's handmade burgers. I'll tell you what it is, they're better than um better than the pre-packed stuff. They're nice, they've got loads of onions in. And I cooked it in garlic butter as well. And that uh, American burger sauce, winner that like, winner winner burger dinner. So what I'm going to do is scram these um, and then tidy up a bit. Then I'll probably stay here. I'll probably stay here because I think I think it's better to be outside, isn't it, rather than in the tent. I don't want to be stuck sat in the tent like. And it's getting hammered by wind, so I can't sit over there. So, yeah, I'm all right here. I'm all right here. So, I'm just gonna have these and then I'm gonna chill out with the beer, drink me toast to rare with the wine. And that's about it, really. Yeah, I'm enjoying this.
This is a good night. This is a good night. Last few camps have been really good. Right. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Bye. Um, after the burgers, oh lovely them two burgers, like really, really hit the spot. Definitely recommend it. But look at this. This is that quilt. I've um, what I've done is I've cinched the end up. I mean, you can't cinch it even more. Just lift it open a little bit because I've got the sleeping bag in there. Ooh. I've got the sleeping bag inside. This is the summer bag, nice and light, and the pack small synthetic bag. And, and they've got the quilt over the top of it. So, what I plan to do is get in and see how it is. I'm sorry you get in there. This is a fair Get in there, get the quilt over, and see how that performs. Very cosy, like, very, very cosy. But you know, it's not about not about being cosy, it's about being warm and comfortable. So I don't want to wear this big down jacket when I'm sleeping, so I'll get in with the down jacket off. And I'll let you know in the morning how it performed. One wind, honcho poncho, it's not called a honcho poncho, that's just me. It's a, a quilt stroke poncho, which is a good idea, like, it is a good idea. Whether it's good or bad, it's a good idea. <laughs> even if this doesn't work, we'll find out, but even if it doesn't work, somebody will come up with a blooming, it's a good idea, it is an actual brilliant idea to have a, like a poncho that is really warm and I can wrap around you. But when I was sitting outside before, I really felt a difference. When I took it off, I felt a difference. Right, what we're gonna do now is, right, Put the camera down a second. And the bottle as well. Put the camera down. Wine open. Pour a little glass of wine. Pour a little X mug of wine. A little X mug of wine. Right, don't normally drink wine because uh, X is a bit weird. And what we're going to do is, right, to my mate there, this is a toast to your dad, Ray. Right, he was a wonderful bloke. He used to call the kitchen the scullery. He worked in the shipyards, when the shipyards were the shipyards, and he was a proper gentleman. You know when you, know when you just come across like a nice person? He was just a nice person. All the best, Ray. You're gonna be missed, man. Who had some good nights out in Timeout. He was a right character. It was like I said earlier, he thought I was crazy coming out camping and all that. I used to show him the, um, I used to show him the photographs when I was out in the wind and the rain and the snow. And he'd be like, you bloody crap, as you like. Proper, <laughs> proper Jordy, like. He's like, you bloody crap. Can you not? And I'm like, aye. Let's just put you down. That's what I do. And I think secretly he liked it. <sighs> it's a sad, it's a sad end. It's a sad time, you know. Ups and friends, eh? There's plenty of them. There's lots of ups and friends. Let's just take a second to reflect there. Eh? If you've got absent friends, or if you're about to have absent friends, just raise a glass. I always think to myself, you know, if somebody passes, I always think to myself, how do you feel? I say, how do you feel about your own passing? And I'm like, I hope to get a few more years, but when the time comes, I don't want people to be sad. I'm not, you know, you, you can have your little bit of grief. I mean, there's a few people who won't shed any tears about me passing. <laughs> I've got no qualms about that. But there'll be a few who do. And, um, it's, 
it's like, don't because I've had a, 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 I don't know, I've had a decent life, you know what I mean? I've had a decent life. I haven't had any real hardships. Well, I've had a few, but I can't talk about them. Um, I haven't had any like illnesses or disease or dis disabilities or anything like that. I mean, my job's horrible at the minute, but it's not. It's not physically demand. Well, it is physically demand. It's not like. Um, it's not to the point where it drives your mental like properly affects your mental health. It's not got to that stage, but you know, I've had a good run. And if I died tomorrow, I think I'd probably like I'd be up I'd be up there or well I'd probably be down there and I'd be like ah, I did it I didn't do too bad. You know, I got away with quite a bit. <laughs> I got away with I got away with loads. But anyway, don't get melancholy. Don't don't think about it. Just think about the next day, right? Just think about next week when you're out camping or hiking or walking or whatever in your one wind poncho. And just, don't know, just live every day as if it was your last. And uh, that's it. This is uh, son, play me a melody. Because I'm the piano man and um, you shine a light on my life. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, that's it. I'm turning it, turn it off. Right, so cheers to Ray. Ray, you're an absolute gentleman. All the best. A few moments later. Absolutely wild. It's uh, not a bad day, not a bad morning. This tent, right, is bone dry again. See? The dew point, man, it's the dew point. It's nothing to do with the fact that it's a hillyberg. Ooh, hillybergs, ooh, they're always condensation. Well, they're not. If the dew point's right, it will be. As will every tent. I wish people would stop with the old. It's a hilly bird, so it's full of condensation. Right, man, shut up, man. Anyway, this quilt was unbelievable last night. I had to take it off, man. I had to unclip it. So this is a, a summer bag, like a two season, really, synthetic summer bag. And I was roasting. And it was quite chilly last night. So this is a winner. This is coming on the next trip. This one wind. Poncho stroke quilt. Yes, I like it. Now, if I review something, I'll say what I think about it. So far, so far I haven't really had anything that's been really rubbish. So, you know, that's good. Still use loads of stuff, loads of freebies, ball light stuff, and uh, you know things like that. What do you call it? The uh, the flex tail pump. Still using that. The water bottles, Super Sparrow, Aorin, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is a sub company, I think. It's like a cheaper, cheaper version of the Super Sparrow, but it's just as good. All they wanted from me was photographs. They didn't want to review or anything. 
But look, we're still using it, and they're cheap as well. Hey, how could I get the kettle on? I'm just going to take my time. It's uh, it's half past nine. I'm going to take my time because I'm not ready to drive just yet. So I might just hang about for another hour or so, and then we'll see. It's not far back to the car. What a place! Stunning. I've got it all of myself. Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Right, kettle time. Tea. That's it. Left nothing. Cooking area. Done. Use the rain back on. That's where I was up there, top of there. So we're off anyway. Um, oh god, that was a big jolt. Terrible this path, muddy. Yeah, so we're off. Um, so like I say, next week I'll not be out. I'll probably publish this video like next week because I've got another one in the pipeline which will be up now. If you're watching this, I don't know, I kind of keep up. <laughs> and the week after, the week after is our trip, main Rob, we're away on a, another adventure. So that should be good. Week off, I've got the King's, King's Coronation as well. We're, we're back on the same day, I think. Not that I'm bothered with that, like. Uh, anyway, so. That's it from the Hard Hope Valley. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, which way you're putting your feet. God. <laughs> and as Shakira always says, don't die young, live free. I don't know, Ghostbusters.